Ever wondered how SpaceX, ULA and other rocket companies get such clear and detailed imagery and footage of its rocket launches? Here's a short video that answers that question. Hello and welcome to Point of View. Those of us space exploration fans who have been following the launches for a while now will be well accustomed to seeing incredible camera shots like this. While we've been watching dramatic footage of rocket launches over the years, those opening minutes showing the rocket blasting towards space at breakneck speed with a trail of plumes behind requires some pretty powerful technology to achieve those awesome shots. The setup includes high definition video and film cameras that use an array of focal lengths for different kinds of shots. With a rocket moving at over 3,000 miles an hour or 5,000 kilometers an hour at a distance of perhaps 37 miles or 60 kilometers away from the camera, it can be very difficult to get clear footage that tracks the rocket through its flight. You'd need a focal length of about 10,000 millimeters to fill the frame with a 70 meter high rocket from this distance. Not only that, the camera needs to track in perfect sync with the rocket itself. The smallest movements by the camera would result in huge shakes and wobbles in ultra zoomed in footage from that 10,000 mm lens. So what's the answer? Well, the launch pads are all surrounded by specialist tracking cameras that were originally designed to track missiles for the military. These super high detailed shots provide a great spectacle during the launch procedure, stage separation and in the case of SpaceX, the awe-inspiring Falcon 9 landings. But how are we able to get these amazing shots? Here we are going to dive in and look at what makes a shot like this so difficult in the first place. We are also going to look at the equipment that's used. Say you've got a camera and you're trying to film a rocket that is 60 kilometers away and is moving at 5000 kilometers an hour. Firstly, a standard telephoto lens will only have a maximum focal length of around 1000 millimeters. In order to get a 70 meter tall rocket, which is 60 kilometers away to fill up the entire frame, you would need a lens with a focal length of at least 10 times that. Secondly, in order to get smooth tracking shots, the camera needs to pan upwards in perfect sync with the rocket. That is easier said than done, because the smallest of movements done by the camera translates to huge movements at the other end where the rocket is. Most US launches take place at three main launch facilities. Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral and Complex 4E at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. All of these launch facilities go way back to the early space days of the 60s and the 70s. Each launch pad is surrounded by several long range tracking cameras that look a bit like this. These are Kineto tracking mounts or KTM which were first developed for use in the military to track down aircraft and missiles. Back in the Apollo days, rigs like this would be controlled by a skilled operator to track the Saturn V rocket as it screamed into the sky. Back then, this skill of the operator was responsible for keeping the camera pointed in the right direction. Today, a lot of the tracking functions are automated or semi-automated. These Kineto mounts can easily be controlled remotely by an operator at mission control. They can also take just about any camera you can imagine and become the world's most expensive tripod. Rocket companies use these tracking cameras to provide great coverage of their launches, but these expensive cameras are also used to analyze their rockets as they go through the most difficult parts of their missions. NASA uses a mix of digital and film cameras on these mounts. 
the short-range tracking cameras make use of high-speed frame rates and shutter speeds which are useful for rocket companies to analyze their rockets in great detail during the launch sequence. They also make use of some infrared temperature cameras to measure the heat of the spacecraft as it burns through the atmosphere on re-entry. Cameras like these have played an important role in disaster investigations. Tracking cameras were able to show that a falling piece of debris ripped a hole into the Space Shuttle Columbia flight which caused it to disintegrate on re-entry, sadly killing the entire crew. NASA reviewed the footage and put new procedures in place to ensure that the shuttle was safe to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. NASA has some film cameras placed around their launch sites loaded with over 1000 feet of film each. Of course, they also have the latest of camera technology capable of streaming a 4K video feed live to the world. This is how we are able to view these amazingly clear shots as they are happening. We really have come a long way. So there you have it, the method behind filming and broadcasting a rocket launch is actually very difficult. As the technology of the tracking systems and the cameras continue to improve, we can look forward to seeing more amazing shots like this. That's a wrap, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.